Hi guys, Tim here doing another military history um, video for you today and this will just be a brief quick one on the history of the firearms now this will be mainly a British um, perspective history of the firearms but there will be others, you know, other countries involved of course so yeah, without further ado, let me get started so yeah, the British Army um, and other loads of other countries were using um, a musket during the, you know, during the 17 and early 1800s. Um, now the musket could really only fire, um, say 50, 60, 70 yards maximum, and that was really it. So nothing much really, and they were, and all muskets back in the day were using um, a musket bull, bull, which is literally just a lead um, round cast red. Uh, a, a lead round ball moulded from of course lead and that was it and that was all they fired and now they used something called a flintlock system which was a bit of flint called iron pyrite well not the iron pyrite just flint piece of flint you would carve it into a sharp point and then you put powder in, of course you put powder in the you put pow powder and your ball in the um, muzzle of the rifle or the bleh, muzzle of the musket mm -hmm. then you put one in the little, this little pan called the powder pan then when you fire it you close the frism which is literally just closing a big gate on that so it keeps the water in then you would um, fire the, the flint lock the flint and the cock will come down striking the frism it's called a frism frism um, and spark off, lighting the powder, shooting down inside the bow, sending the ball off, sending this little project, this little projectile off. Down. But yeah, that was from muskets all the way up until um, around um, eighteen. Well, for the British Army, it was around. It was up until 1853 when they changed from the Brown Bess to the Patton 1853 Enfield rifled musket because they were um, Brown Bess adaptions or they were adapt from, adapted from the Brown Bess um, added this new system called a percussion cap system it's basically just think of your cap guns and that will tell it all, your little little cap gun back in the day. Um, and they, and that the P-53 Enfield rifled musket, because the reason why it's called rifled musket is because it's a musket, but it has a rifling, so it's got right spiral grooves, spiral, spiral grooves, which make the, um, um, make the gun you know more accurate make the round make the musket more accurate and the round will fly or the projectile will fly further now the British Army in 1853 didn't come up with um, or the, their right muskets or rifles didn't use rifling in the 18 in, you know, 1853 and upwards they were actually started back during sorry <coughs> started back started back way back in 1800 by the Royal Green Jackets or the 95th Rifles that's when the British Army first used them first used rifle rifles in their muskets or rifling in their muskets but yeah and the P-53 Enfield rifled musket used a little um, round, or not really round, not called around now at this point, a projectile, first of a pointed projectile, called um, a mini ball or mini ball, because it was actually invented by a chap, a French chap called Claude Edien Minet. It was you know, called Eddie Minet, he was very famous in the military history um, world. 
that, as you can see, is the first ever uh, pointed nosed uh, projector. And what these grooves here are for are for expanding the gripping the rifle, rifling. Because um, when the powder, the powder forms, well, not really the powder itself, but yeah, the powder it forms, and when the pressure of the gun firing that expands, uh -huh, this expands and grips and twists on the rifle as it goes through, then sends it off on its way into a guy's chest or head or leg or anything. So yeah. And then 1840, and then going back a bit, 1841, the first of a bold action breech loading, yeah, breech loading rifle was adopted by the, the Prussian military. in 1841 and manufactured from 1841 known as the Dreis or the Dreisse invented by a guy called Nicholas von Dreisse yep and now what I mean by breech loading is um, instead of loading the powder and ball down through the muzzle of the of the um, through the musket or early rifled muskets or early, very very early um, rifled, you know, rifled muskets um, there it actually where the action is, you know the um, cock, every, the action there they would flip up a latch or, you know, put anything, put the ball, put the powder and ball um, or, well, yeah powder and ball, or in this case with the drace, a paper patched round all in one, slot it in the in the um, in the breach the chamber and they would fire it off it's very quick and very easy yep that was 1841 then skipping um, a lot more years to 1886 um, you would get the, fir the French Frenchmen's, the French invented the first ever smokeless powder round, which was the 8mm Lebel, and it goes off a very, a common, very, very common rifle called the Lebel rifle, which they adopted also in 1886 to to go with the new smokeless powder round. Mhm. Mm um, but. I'll get into what smokeless and non-smokeless mean, but yeah, then in 1888 the British Army adopted the first of a pointed bullet round, so instead of, um, ra like this is rounded, instead of rounded, um, pointed, that pointed tip, it flies, it's more aerodynamic, fires faster and further, more accuracy. That was in 1888, with their adoption of the Lee Enfield, well, sorry, Lee Metford rifle in 18, December of 1888 but yeah going back so the difference between smokeless and um, non-smokeless powder means smokeless um, non-smokeless powdered powder means you fire your rifle and out the muzzle the end of the the front of the um, gun the weapon it'll be create a huge mass of smoke and powder pouring out of the gun you know mass of um not powder really well some powder sometimes powder the mass of um you know just white smoke away so you couldn't see two three you know or even a hot arm's length in front of you um yeah but then you but when the french adopted this which was brand new at the time smokeless powder that means the people, the um, enemies would be seen by, you know, the Allied or whoever was fighting. You know, you'd fire off your you fire off your rifled musket or even rifle at that time at that point in the year, um, and you would actually see your enemy. Huh. So yeah, because he's not covered up by thick smoke and cloud and everything like that. So yeah, and now I know I have um, gathered on a bit about the the um, bullet but or the bullet and the cartridge and everything but it's hard not to when you talk about firearm history of firearms so yeah 
Um, so yeah, that has concluded the history of the brief history of the firearms, all the way from the 17 and early 1800s, um, with the with the lead round ball, 1848 to the min April, and then right then mus rifled musket using rifling in the barrel, which adopted the first use of. Um, in December of 1888, the first pointed um, nosed bullet by the British Army. Yeah, that, that was a point three oh three, an early point three oh three round uh, by the Lee Metford by the British Army. Then all the way to the um, well, going back a bit, 1880 six with the French Lebel using the first ever smokeless powdered round all the way up to rounds what I think the police use in America nowadays which are ones which are basically you're feeling like the fist is punched in your stomach ten times basically I think they use it it's a weird thing they use on their glocks I can't remember my I think they have put into service now I'm not sure but yeah that has been the brief history of the firearms all the way from the musket or all, all the way from the musket to the you know flintlock musket to the rifled musket um, breech loading bolt action and semi-automatic with the SA modern nowadays SA80 British rifles so see you guys